Hello, in this video we will solve two plane stress problems using Mohr circle. For the given state of stress, determine the normal and shearing stresses exerted on the oblique face of the shaded triangular element shown. In this triangular element, we have to determine normal stress and shear, shear stress on this particular plane. Draw a free body diagram of this triangular element which is subjected to one normal stress 40 megapascal on X plane and subjected to 80 megapascal tensile stress on Y plane. Now in this plane you will get one stress that stress can be resolved into two components one perpendicular to the surface represented as normal stress and one tangential to the surface which is represented as shear stress. You have to determine these two sigma n and tau in this particular problem. First we will draw more circle for this. Draw x axis and y axis. So in, x, in abscissa you take normal stress and in ordinate you will take shear stress. First given stress is sigma x is given 40 megapascal in negative direction. So sigma x is minus 40. So in negative direction mark one point A which is equal to 40. Now uh, proportional to 40. Similarly mark 80 megapascal this is tensile that is sigma y is positive 80. So mark OB at a distance of 80. In this way you have represented these two normal stresses. Determine center point of AB which can be determined using relation sigma x plus sigma y by 2. So 80 minus 40 this is negative divided by 2. So you are getting 20. Mark this point C center point which is OC which is equivalent to distance of 20. After getting this point C you can draw more circle because you can see that in these two faces no shear stresses are applied. Therefore directly you can draw one more circle with center C and CB as radius. So this is your required more circle. Next determine radius of the more circle which is equal to CB. Now this CB distance you can see is equal to OB minus OC. So OB is 80 minus 20. In this way you got 60. So radius of more circle you got as 60. Now you have to locate this plane. Here CB is representing Y plane because this OB is 80, 80 megapascal. So CB is representing Y plane and CA is representing X plane. Now our required plane is making an angle of 55 degree in clockwise direction from Y plane. This plane is our Y plane. From this Y plane required plane is at an angle of 55 degree clockwise direction. So in more circle we will draw double this angle that is 110 degree from Y plane that is from CB in clockwise direction. So from CB draw one line which is at an inclination of 110 degree clockwise direction. In this way you will get this point G which represents the state of stress in this particular plane. That means coordinate of G will represent sigma n and tau in this particular plane. So for that draw one line a perpendicular line from G. So OH is your normal stress. This is a normal stress plane OH and GH will be your shear stress. So these two can be determined. Normal stress is equal to OH is equal to CH minus OC. OC is known 20. CH can be determined as CG cos 70. Now if this, this angle is 110 degree, so this remaining angle is 70 degree. So CG cos 70 will be your CH. So value of CH is CG cos 70 minus 20. Now what is CG? CG is nothing but radius of this circle which we have already calculated as 60. So put this value here. So 60 cos 70 minus 20 you, you are getting 0 0.521. Now this 0 0.521 is towards negative sigma direction. Therefore this value is minus. So normal stress you are getting is minus 0 0.521 megapascal. Next you have to determine shear stress which is equal to HG or GH. So HG is equal to from this again from this right angle triangle this angle is 70. So CG sin 70 will be your HG. Now CG is already I told that CG is radius of the circle which is equal to 60. So from 60 sin 70 you are getting shear stress as 56.4 megapascal. Again you can see that shear stress is towards 
negative shear direction minus tau this side is positive tau this side is negative tau so negative direction so 56.4 mega pascal is also negative uh, minus 56.4 mega pascal so this is what needed in this particular problem but here uh, i have taken sigma n as positive that is tens i have shown this as tensile but actual answer is get we are getting as negative that is direction of sigma n is just opposite similarly tau is clockwise around this element but actually tau is you are getting as negative value so direction of tau is also just opposite it should give uh, anti clockwise moment to this element so correct this direction so this is our actual direction of normal stress and actual direction of shear stress in this particular plane in this way you can determine normal stress and shear stress in any plane using mohr circle now next problem i am going to take is uh, in an element which is subjected to this all this type of load and in this particular problem we will determine only principal stresses and maximum shear stress for that we will draw mohr circle so for that this axis is uh, normal stress axis and draw vertical line which is shear stress axis so this point is point o now one sigma x is given 80 newton so 80 uh, in positive direction so mark oa at a distance of 80 so mark this point a at a distance of 80 in positive direction now here in this plane in y plane uh, 60 newton per mm square load is uh, 60 newton per mm square stress is applied in uh, compressive mode that means in negative direction so minus sigma y is minus 60 so in this direction in minus direction draw uh, ob as at a distance of 60 now once you get this O, uh, b point and a point determine or locate the center point of ab center point of ab can be obtained using the relation sigma x plus sigma y by 2 so 80 minus 60 so this is positive 80 and this is negative 60 so 80 minus 60 divided by 2 is equal to 10 so you are getting positive 10 so from o draw one point c center point which is at a distance of n units right side now next at this particular plane now here this ca is representing x plane in which 80 newton per mm square is applied and cb cb is representing y plane in which this 60 newton per mm square is applied now from in x plane in x plane you can see one shear stress is applied 20 newton per mm square now this shear stress is negative because this two shear stresses in this plane Uh, tends to rotate this element in anti clockwise direction so i already explained that anti clockwise rotation by shear stress will be treated as negative and clockwise shear stress will be treated as positive so this is a negative shear stress applied at this x plane so from a draw one vertical line of length 20 newton per mm square mark this point d now this point d is representing state of stress in this x plane so this distance is 20 and this coordinate of d is 80 minus 20 which is representing state of stress in this vertical plane similarly from in b that is in y plane you are getting uh, one shear stress which is clockwise and same magnitude 20 newton per mm square so this is clockwise so positive direction draw one vertical line of 20 and mark this point e so state this e is representing state of stress in this y plane so this is 60 and uh, sorry I, by mistake i have written 60 uh, 20 so this 60 is minus 60 uh, this is uh, you correct it this is minus 60 and this is plus 20 so plus 20 is correct this we have to write minus 60 so this is coordinate of point e now you join e with d it will pass through same center c so once you get this you can draw mohr circle with c as center and cd as radius so i have drawn this mohr circle in in this mohr circle you can determine radius of this circle cd from this triangle this right angle triangle cad you can determine radius of the circle as cd is equal to root over ca square plus ad square now ca is the distance you can see from oa oa is 80 and oc is 10 so 80 minus 10 will be ca that is 70 square plus 20 square so this height is 20 is given so 70 square plus 20 square in this way in, th in this way you will get radius of this mohr circle as 72.8 
Now, once you get this radius of the circle, you can get now principal stresses, which are uh, principal stresses are stresses at, a, at planes where shear stresses are zero. So you can see at this particular point, shear stress is zero and this particular point, shear stress is zero. And all other points, you will get some value of shear stress. That means in all planes, you will get shear stress except in these two points. So mark these two points. So I have marked these two points as J and K. So J is one principal stress and K is representing another principal stress. That means OJ is one principal stress and OK is another principal stress. Determine this sigma 1 is equal to OJ which is equal to OC plus CJ and CJ is nothing but radius of the circle 72.8. So OC is 10 plus 72.8 in that way you are getting 82.8 Newton per mm square. Similarly here you can get OK sigma 2 is equal to ok ok now this ok is again you can get ck ck is the radius of this small circle which is equal to 72.8 minus this 10 in that way you are getting 62.8 now this 62.8 in is in negative direction uh, towards left side of this tau axis therefore this i have taken as minus 62.8 newton per mm square to get maximum shear stress you have to draw one vertical line here. So this point, at this point, shear stress is maximum. If you draw horizontal line from here, so this is the height. So this is the maximum height or maximum distance of this point. This point is farthest from this axis, sigma axis, this side. And similarly, you will get another point at downside also. So this is the maximum no, uh, negative shear stress and this is maximum positive shear stress. Both will be same. And this is equal to radius of the circle, which is equal to 72.8 Newton per mm square. So max radius is equal to, so this is the maximum shear stress is equal to 72.8 Newton per mm square. At this particular point, at these two particular points, you can see normal stress is equal to 10 Newton per mm square. In both the cases, positive 10 Newton per mm square. In this way, you can determine principal stresses and maximum stress in this particular problem. Thank you for watching this video.